So let's talk about your own use of vitamins. I'm going to assume that you, you do use a vitamin. I want you to, to have a look at this. Now, I'm not a scientist, never going to be a scientist, and I certainly don't know everything about the chemical structures of everything, but let's play this little game with me. What I'm going to challenge you to do is create a, two cups of water. I'm going to get your own vitamin. Here I've got a common retail sold vitamin. I'm going to drop that in the water in a minute. And I'm going to get a vitamin or antioxidant from the company that I recommend. We're going to do what's called the water test. The first thing we're looking to do is at, at the dissolving rate. So we drop that one in the water. Yes, I know that water is not exactly the same as your stomach fluids, etc., etc. But for now, it'll do. And you can do this test. I encourage you to do it. So what we've done is, as we talk, we're looking at, does it dissolve? Because I've heard stories that there are some, well, many brands of vitamins that when you, shall we say, eliminate waste from your body, they come out as intact as they were when they went in. Now, as gross a topic as that might appear, it's uh, important for you to know if you're paying money and expecting for something to happen because if it's coming out in the same compound structure formation with the lettering of the company down the side as it went in, it's obviously not doing much for you. So whether it dissolves in its time in your body is a critical factor and one that I'm sure you've all assumed is occurring, but I can assure you don't make that assumption because it's not always as simple as that. In a few minutes' time, we'll look at how these two are dissolving. And I'll give you more specifics, because we've done this before with these brands, and obviously I'm not naming the brand. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is their ability to act as what's called an antioxidant, to protect your body from oxidization from free, rad from free radicals. Now, this breakdown of cells occurs simply by being exposed to oxygen and pollutants make it worse, they exacerbate it. But simply breathing causes your body to be exposed to the oxidative process. Now you can liken the oxidative process to when you cut an apple and you, very, you see very quickly that the apple starts to discolour. Well that's basically what's happening with our body. In fact, if you, you got to see the insides of a baby or a, or a new animal, a newly born animal, you can see how fresh and pink their internal uh, skin is. And obviously as we age, over the years of, of antioxidant, uh, of oxidative processes, you can see the, the, the pinkness is lost from the skin, so to speak. So the antioxidant aim is to protect your body from the free radical damage. Does it do that? The next step to do, to assess how effective your vitamin is at providing an antioxidant role, is to cut up a bit of apple, drop it in, cut up a bit of apple, drop it in, um, in the vitamin that you're comparing it to, and over the number of days, assess it. Would you still want to eat that apple a few days later? Does it turn black with mold, or does it turn a little bit uh, light yellowish as you would expect from a water from being in water for a few days? Now, we're only able to do at this point in time the dissolving test, but I encourage you to do the apple test as well. And with the dissolving test, let's have a quick look at what's happening. It has only been three and a half minutes. But I'll get my cameraman to bring this up, and I'm assuming you can get a zoom on that. Now, as we head towards the four minute mark, there's no evidence, there's no sign of any dissolving whatsoever. And we've done this test a number of times, and how many days did it usually take to dissolve? Never. Didn't dissolve, doesn't dissolve, just gets bigger. Okay, so this is a not dissolving vitamin. <laughs> okay, so at the four minute mark, the product I'm referring to. I'm just trying to get to the side a little bit so you can see it. And you're just starting to see the discoloration coming in the water. So the breakdown process has occurred. How's that angle? Is that working? You just start to see the, the breaking down. If I can tip it up that way. And it's just starting to break down. Now, how many minutes does it take to completely break down? About 20 minutes. And so the timing of the breakdown is critical to assure that it breaks down at the right point of time in the digestive system. Again, I'm not an expert, but I do know it needs to break down to be able to be used by your body. And we know this one does. Does the one you're taking break down? Why not do the water test? 